Hi everybody, welcome back. Today I wanna to talk to you about a really cool new feature that's been released in Freak Trade. So if you're out there and you're doing a lot of parallel bots and strategies because you're trying to test and really refine all these strategies against real-time data, right? Not historical back testing, but real-time market data, you end up with all these browser tabs of all your simulated dry runs running, and you're just trying to figure out, you know, how do you correlate all these things? And it can be really daunting to sift through what, what is good data and what happened at this particular data point because you can't really line them up. You can't really see all on one pane of glass how your bots are performing. Well, that's all changed now that Freak Trade has introduced a new function into their dashboard. And I'm really excited to show you this. So let's dive right into this. I want to show you how to do this. So this is a sneak peek of what it'll look like once we get it set up. So why don't we step into what that is to begin with? So as you can see here in my quick little demo, we've got several bots already set up and you can see how they're performing, how many win wins and losses they have, what's their profit, what's the open profit or loss on any open trades, how many trades are there. All this stuff is super helpful to have on your dashboard just at a glance without all these browser tabs, just one. It's super cool, right? So let me show you how you can do this. And we're of course gonna be deploying these all as Docker containers. And that makes it really repeatable and expandable and easy for you to insert a new profile or a new strategy and just join it right into your dashboard here and be able to view this from one browser tab. Awesome, let's jump right into it. So the ticket to this, there's a couple things. So first of all, you wanna make sure that you're running the current version of the Freak Trade Docker container. If we take a look at our Docker Compose file, a couple things are gonna be critical. If you're not already, you should be running all of these behind a traffic reverse proxy. That makes life so much simpler to just use a, a straight domain name. And then that way it's easy to reference everything. It's all running behind an SSL certificate. It's, it's really the way to go. So I use traffic. If you haven't already, please do check out that video. I'm gonna link that above and get you started in the right direction. In your compose file, everything pretty much remains the same. You're just gonna to need to know, you know what the URL is that you're referencing that, which is then presented through traffic. If we step into our, our config file, that's where there's gonna be one change you need to make for the API to be able to access it across in a different instance. So what I like to do is deploy just kind of a, a single front end instance of Freak Trade, and that may or may not actually run a Freak Trade strategy that I care about, but its purpose is to always be that landing page where I start from. So what I've done is I've made one that I just call Freak Trade-Main. And then this one here, if we look at that compose file, you'll see down in the labels section, you'll see that I just call this Freak Trade and then the fully qualified name of my traffic instance, right? So I just have a throwaway domain that I happen to own and I, I let it run on that inside my network. So every time I'm accessing Freak Trade, I'm always gonna go to this instance and any new instances I deploy with new strategy files, I'm gonna plumb them into that so that I can see them all in one interface. Now, here's the ticket on how you get other instances to be allowed to talk to each other by that API. If you edit your config file, what you're gonna be doing is, if you go towards the bottom of your config file, this is where your API server section is. And what's important is this cores origins. Normally this is gonna be blank. It's just gonna be a pair of empty brackets. You're gonna to need to fill in here the name of your primary free trade instance where you're accessing all of your other instances from. So it'll always be the same one for all of your bots that you're piping into your system. So go ahead and decide whatever namespace you're gonna use and you're gonna to need to populate that on all of your other instances, okay? And then of course the API username and password. Don't recommend you use the defaults. This is just an example. If we take a look at one of my other bots that I have deployed, and I have several that are just like this, you'll see that same configuration point. So if I take a look at the config file for this bot, same thing, it's gonna have all its other configuration points and you know all the, all the things that tie into your strategy file and all that. But the main thing is here, is down here, is for your core's origins. Set that all pointing back to your primary instance. So as you deploy these, then you're in a good position to be able to add them into that interface. So let's go have a look at that. So here we've landed on my main instance, where again, I don't actually have any meaningful strategy running on here. It's in dry mode, whatever it is, doesn't matter. But what I'm gonna do is, when I log into it, I'm just gonna give it a name, Freak Trade Dashboard, makes sense to me. I'm using that default 
login just for this instance. And once we get in here, we give it a minute and it's gonna show that running instance, okay? I have some random strategy file in there, it's doing something and that's great. If you click on the Freak Trade UI text here, the top left of that browser section, it always takes you back to your main dashboard. Now you're gonna see a button here you may not have seen before, add new bot. Fantastic, so now we can add in all of our other bots, presuming we added that cores configuration to the config file, it should allow you to connect to that API. So let's add in one that I was looking at earlier. So this is just a strategy file that I've been tinkering with. It's off of the main GitHub page. It's called bin hv45, but that's the name of my instance. That's the main thing. So what I like to do when I'm naming these in here is I like to name the bot. So remember the name, the name here is arbitrary. You can name that whatever makes sense to you. It's the URL that of course it lines up with that instance that you created. I like to name it the name of the strategy and then I put in parentheses the state currency, whether that's USDT, USD, whether it's Bitcoin, whatever it is, go ahead and plug that in. And then whether it's live or in dry run. Now, I hope you all are running all of these things in dry run mode, but you may have some live instances running, use this at your own caution. So that's kind of the format that I like to use. It works for me just to logically know what strategy file I'm talking about, what state currency I'm talking about, and whether it's dry run or live, those are the three most important things to me when I'm looking at them and, and analyzing what bot I'm talking about. The URL needs to be the URL that you've presented to traffic that should be accessible on your network already. So if you have any trouble with this, you wanna see why that is. And then again, the API username and password. So once you plug that in, it'll show up in here. It takes a moment for it to go from red to green and you have to refresh hitting that free trade UI. It doesn't refresh on its own. And then it should go to green. And you just add in all of your bots here. So I'm gonna add just one more. I've got one other variation of this, which has been HP 45, it's the same one. I'm running the state currency as Bitcoin just to see what happens when my state currency is also a coin, not a fiat currency. And then of course the URL of that running instance. Good deal. Go ahead and add that in. You can hit the refresh button here in the top right and it will turn green. Now, now that you've got these plumbed in, you can always come into this page and then view your bots without having to remember all the different URLs and all that and see where they are. Now, if you hit dashboard up here in the top bar towards the left, you'll see all three of those bots running here and you can see what they're doing. So I see the name that I gave it. I see uh, how many trades are open and how many are allowed. That's the first numbers there. Open profit. So that is open trades, whether profit or loss on the existing open trades. And then of course the closed profit. Those are trades that have closed out and how they've profited or lost. And then of course your balance. Now these are all simulated. These are all dry run. So take these numbers completely with a grain of salt. These are things that I've just been tinkering with over time. These are not any sort of guarantee of performance. But this is a fantastic way, guys, of just plumbing all of those bots in. If you've got all these ones configured out, you can plumb these in here and see what's going on with your bots at a glance. And that way you can come in real quick and go, ooh, that one's really not performing. We had a market condition yesterday where it, it really nuked a bunch of my strategies and, and I need to go figure out why so I can make a note of that. Or I have a few that maybe yesterday during such market condition, I have a particular strategy that did quite well with that. And I wanna dive into that and see what I did differently on that one so that I can continue to refine my strategies as I get closer and closer to running one of these in live mode. So guys, I really hope this was helpful for you. If you did find it helpful, please give me a thumbs up. If you're not already, please subscribe. I've got a few more videos on these topics coming out. Please let me know down in the comments what you think of this. And if there's other topics within freak trade or other algorithmic trading topics you'd like to see, I'd be happy to cover them. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.